This is Pat Bamber here for PSB Sports. I'm at the Undercar press conference here in Canary Wharf. Uh, with me, I've got promoter Eddie Hearn. Uh, sorry, Mr. Say, thanks for talking to me again, today, Ed. Uh, appreciate that. I feel like brothers. Awesome. I feel like that as well, buddy. I feel like that as well. Um, so, Ed, we had a pr we had a two press conferences here today. Uh, firstly, what happened with Dave Cole and Chris Eubank Senior? Like, you, you, you got to give us an excuse well, for that. Yeah, no, I just think uh, you know, Chris started going off basically saying because Dave was a poor professional fighter and you know, he wasn't. You know, he won an area title, which I thought was a good achievement. Uh, he can't deliver the same for his charge that, that Eubank can. And David took exception to that. And it went backwards and forwards. And then Connor Ben and Chris Eubank Sr. had a little one as well. So very entertaining. And I think, you know, the one thing that Eubanks bring is uh, entertainment inside and outside the ring. They're, they're a package. And, um, you know, however way you take it, whatever you think of them, good for British boxing. I spoke to uh, I spoke to Junior outside. He said, um, you know, he's focused on the Doran fight, but he's he's hungry for Golovkin and he's hungry for the Saunders rematch and even maybe the Olympics. Who knows? In four years after his bid was rejected, so a bright future for Chris Eubank Junior, regardless, of course, with yeah. Triple G. Sort. Yeah, I think he's going to be in some big fights. I think the Doran fight is a tougher fight than people are anticipating. I think if Tom Doran can keep his composure and get past the first three or four rounds, I think he's got a chance in the fight. He can punch, um, but you know, if if Eubank is talking about Golovkin and Saunders. He has to be dealing with people like Doran. But I think there is a, a, an added level of expectancy and pressure because of the people that they're talking about for him to perform in such a way on Saturday. Absolutely. And of course, we had George Groves and Martin Murray here today. They had a bit of backwards and forwards, um, a bit not as much respect as there was yeah. last time. What do you think of that? What do you make of that? And it makes a great fight on Saturday, doesn't it? I just think it's a great fight. For me, it's the fight probably I look forward to mostly in 2016 in terms of domestic fights. Um, it's a must win for both guys on, on a world scene, on a career level. I don't think either fighter can take or accept a loss and move forward in their career. And I think Martin Murray has trained and prepared with the kind of attitude of this is absolutely every drop that I have inside me has to go into this fight on Saturday night. And, um, you know, I, I'm very confident for Martin. I know it's going to be a tough fight. He can't let George dictate the pace of the fight, but that's going to be dangerous to try and stop that from happening anyway, but I just think it's going to be a great fight. In terms of pay-per-view numbers, are you, are you expecting more than the uh, two previous ones of Anthony Joshua? Uh, are you, are you, well, of course, you're hoping for more, but with the promotion, do you feel like it's been a successful promotion up until now, and do you anticipate high numbers than previously? Yeah, I mean, look, last time Anthony Joshua changed for the World Heavyweight title. This time he's defending it. This card is much stronger, much bigger names and bigger fights on this card. You're in the middle of the Euros, which don't probably help. You're in summer, but we know that Joshua is uh, very consistent with his numbers, you know, on pay-per-view and at the box office at the arena. So, you know, we're going to we're going to do big numbers again. Fingers crossed. And finally, Ed, uh, have you got any any more news to tell us regarding regarding your know, Kelbrook or any other any other breaking news that you, you can give us? Anything that's happening soon? No. Well, the fixtures came out today, and that gives us a much better ex idea of where we can go and when, when at Bramall Lane. Sure. So, I think um, we're just really sort of weighing up the the potential fight with Golovkin and the Brook Vargas fight and trying to detail which you, which is going to go where and when sure. and that is difficult because you know you have a fight in Brook Vargas which is pretty much agreed yeah. and you have a fight with Golovkin and Eubank which is talked about yeah. terms are close but is everybody going to sign yeah. I'm much more confident for the Brook Vargas fight but I'd like to make both so we'll have to see Thanks again, Eddie, for your time two days in a row, and uh, we'll see you soon.